Number five, rubbing your hands together warms them by converting work into thermal energy. If a woman rubs her hands back and forth for a total of 20 rubs at a distance of 7.5 centimeters per rub with an average frictional force of 40 newtons, what is the temperature increase? All right, and the mass of the tissues warmed is only 0.1 kilograms. All right, so let's just draw a black line here and we'll draw a red line over here. And the black line will represent one of the hands and the red line will represent the other hand. All right, so uh, basically what happens is these hands are going to go back and forth a total of 20 times. So we have 20 rubs. And then each rub has a distance of about 7.5 centimeters. In other words, it would be 0 0.075 meters, right? I'm just moving the decimal or you can think about dividing that uh, 7.5 by 100. Those conversions should be easy now. Uh, so basically what's happening, and there's a frictional force, right? So every time... Uh, the hands rub together, there's some friction, and you know that friction warms, right? So, and they're also talking then about the work. So, what is work, or what's a formula for work? Well, work, if you remember back, is going to be equal to the force applied, uh, multiplied then by the distance over which that force uh, is applied, then multiplied by the cosine of the angle between these two vectors. So, if I know the force, the frictional force that is, and I know the distance over which that force is acting, and I know the angle between those two, then I can solve for the work. So watch what happens. So the frictional force is 40 newtons. Should it be positive or negative? It depends on the picture, but just leave it positive for now. You'll see how the negative sign works out. The distance then is going to be about 0 0.075 meters, and then the cosine of the angle between those two. Well, the distance here, let's take the red. Let's pretend that the the distance that this um, red hand travels is this way, okay? So if that's the case, again, I'm gonna start from the beginning here. If the, red, if the red hand basically is moving to the left, what way is friction pointing? To the right. Remember, it always opposes motion. So if this hand moves to the left, then the uh, frictional force is pointing to the right. All right, so that means that if distance is to the left and friction is to the right, what's the angle between them? Right, if one's pointing this way and the other's pointing this way, what's the angle between them? 180. Okay, so that's where the negative sign comes from. Cosine of 180 is negative. So here we have now the work will then be equal to some negative number. So this is 40, then multiplied by 0 0.075. Now the, that comes out to 3. So this is negative 3 uh, joules. Now what this means is that per rub... Three joules of energy is coming out, essentially, or being pulled out of your hand, okay? Uh, out of one hand, let's say, all right? And it's then, where is it going, right? Where is that, where is that work or where is that energy going? You know that it doesn't just go away. It doesn't just disappear. It goes somewhere. So basically, this work energy is being converted into thermal energy. That's what they're talking about here. All right, so this amount of work that is leaving, okay, or this amount of energy that is leaving one part of the system, so to speak, is then being gained by another part of the system. That's the whole idea of conservation of energy. So if we have 20 rubs in total, and each rub produces, uh, you know, or uh, um, releases, we can say, uh, three joules of energy, that means the overall work done would have simply been negative 60 negative 60 joules, all right? So if this is the energy that's lost, where does that energy lost go? Well, it gains or it's gained in terms of thermal energy. So this work is then basically converted into now a positive 60 joules of thermal, thermal energy. And you know what thermal energy is. What's the uh, letter that associates with it? The variable, it's Q. And so basically we just found Q. Now, the problem should be fairly straightforward. Again, we want to find the change in temperature. So now it might all be starting to click together. So we write it down. Q is equal to M uh, C delta T. And they want to find the temperature increase. So really they're asking just for the change in temperature. So divide out M C from both sides. So we would have Q over mass times the specific heat. Uh, so now we now need uh, to plug in the heat value. All right, and what do we get here? So it was 60 joules. That's great. I'm going to leave out the joule. 
What's the mass? They said the mass that was actually warmed up was going to be 0.100 kilograms. All right, and then we need to know the specific heat of the tissue. I don't remember this off the top of my head, so I got to go look back. Hold on one second. So let's see where where indeed are tissues. Hopefully it's on this table. I don't even know if it is. I guess we'll choose the human body, right? That sounds good. So the specific heat then of the human body on average is about 3,500. Okay, joules per kilogram Celsius. So this we're going to plug in here, 3,500. All right, great. Now what we got to do is just solve. So this is going to be 60, whoops, 60 divided by now, 0.1 times 3,500. And this works out to be just a, a small little change in temperature of 0.171. 0.171, and that's in, you can think about it in degrees Celsius, degree, uh, degree Kelvin, the change does not matter. All right, so that's it. Uh, cool. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.